If we have an Excel report or dashboard that's saved on OneDrive or SharePoint, and we want to share that file with others, we normally send them a link to that file. That file is then shared with them, and any changes they make are updated in real time into that workbook, which means everybody can see everybody else's changes, which isn't great if we've built an interactive report or dashboard that people might view at the same time, because that means their changes are impacting the other users. Well, today I want to show you how to create an interactive view only dashboard in Excel. Now, this is a tip I picked up from Chris Webb at his presentation to the Toronto Excel Meetup Group. So thanks to them for sharing that tip and hopefully you'll enjoy this one as well. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here in Excel, I have a financial dashboard. It currently gives us the results for February 2023. This dashboard is interactive. When I click on different months, you'll see that the dashboard updates. Now let's suggest that I want to give access to this dashboard to my line manager. I want to maintain all of those interactive elements, but I don't want them to make any changes to those original workbooks. I could email them a copy of this dashboard, but that defeats the purpose of having something on OneDrive or SharePoint. So how can we share a view only but interactive version of this report? Let's find out. If I come to the folder here, I've got the original workbook for this report. I'm going to right click it and go to view online. This report is saved on OneDrive. Equally, it could be saved on SharePoint. And we could also open up this workbook by going into OneDrive or SharePoint online and opening the file from there. Over here in cell A1, you can see my name. This is the cell that I have selected in Excel desktop. If I come back to that, I'll select a new cell. I'll go back to Excel online, and there you can see that that selection has changed. So this is a shared workbook. Any changes I make will be made into the workbook. However, if I'm in Excel online, and I go to File, and then go to Share, we have this option to embed. Embed this document in your blog or website. I'll click on that. It gives us some options here. We can hide grid lines, hide row and column headers. Let's say I don't want to include a download link, although somebody could change that themselves later on. I do want to let people sort and filter. I do want to let people type into cells, though it notes that their, their changes will not be saved. And I always want to start the presentation in that specific cell. Based on these selections, at the bottom, it gives us an embed code. However, I don't have a website to embed this on necessarily, but I'm going to copy this code and then come to Notepad and I'll paste the code into Notepad. All of this code is based on HTML. It's what drives the internet. But if we can strip out the URL from this, it ceases to be an iframe in HTML. So I'll remove this first bit all the way up to SRC equals, and then the first double quote. At the end, I remove from the last double quote all the way across to this closing of the iframe element. And now this gives me a URL. This is the URL that I can share. There's a few things to make note of here. First of all, all of the options that we selected initially, so we decided whether we were allowing typing, we decided what the active cell was, we decided whether we were to allow grid lines and headers. So all of those options are included in this URL, which means we can remove them, but equally if somebody wants to, they can add them in themselves. So even though we selected to not allow a download link, it means that somebody could allow a download link just by changing the code in the URL. I'm going to select all of that, press Control C to copy. Then I'll come across into a new browser window and I'll paste that code in there and press return. This now creates a version of our dashboard, but without all of that Excel interactivity. We don't have the ribbon at the top, we don't have the buttons. But is this still interactive? Well, let's click on a different period. 
Yes, our report has updated. So as we interact with this report, it does update. But does it change our original version? Let's come back. I'll close that. In the original version, we've got period five selected. Here, we've got period three selected. So that means it hasn't made those changes into the original version. And even if I type into a cell, I'll type the word change. You'll see there are no changes made in the original version of our dashboard. So by using this URL, we are able to create a view only yet still interactive version of our dashboards and reports. Well, that's it. As I said at the start, we should give thanks to Chris Webb and also the Toronto Excel Meetup group for this tip. I hope you can put it to good use. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.